Okay, so this is a different type of video to what I normally do, and it's not going to be an ongoing thing, but I'm sat here in self-isolation, very bored inside my large empty concrete bunker. And a fan sent me a screenshot today of a video simply titled, Fact Fiend is being stupid. And I laughed so hard, I thought I need to track this video down and then record myself watching it. So without further ado, let's just get right on that show. Also, of course, ah, lovely drinking video for me. It's some nice cider. And let's start, shall we? First thing is I'm noticing this is clearly filmed in a guy's bathroom. And I can see his anal beads and his dirty laundry on the wall. Oh, whoa, 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 don't know. Oh, not on your Nelly, my friend, not on your Nelly. Did everyone see that? He's actually on camera. Like, look, you can see the bottom right. Look, he's on camera. Look, oh, 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 and then he, well, then he comes in frame. What's up? No, hey, what's I'm up? Just in the corner thinking of a way for... To walk onto the camera, yeah, I know, mate. He does. I'm going to steal that. I'm stealing that gimmick and there's nothing that guy can do about it. Whilst I'm loving the depression slash isolation beard he's got going on. Like, it's, like, it's pro tip, uh, if, you, if you can't grow facial hair, I can't grow facial hair, I shave every single day. Cause I, only enough, my facial hair looked exactly like this guy's and that's why I shave it off every single day. Like, just shave it off, it looks better. Anyway, I, minor complaint, minor complaint. I'm sure the rest of the video is going to be fantastic. Love well, shower curtains. Been, uh, more than just procrastinating, I've been doing a lot of work. I've been well, that's the opposite of procrastinating, mate. Servers for Discord. Solid. And okay. You got a, you got a hobby. You got a passion. Designing, writing, mainly designing because my writing is, uh, has gone pretty downhill in terms of quantity and quality. <laughs> Same. But primarily, a lot of designing. Okay. A lot of calculating. I do a lot of calculating in a day. I can, uh, yeah, I can see you do a lot of something in the day. That's cool. Definitely not something active. Mental retardation. Oh, uh oh. Or the physical embodiment of mental retardation. Fact fiend. <laughs> For those of you. Who... <laughs> I'm just going to press play. Uh, don't know. D describe my own channel to me, please. And a sub channel called uh, Kyle Smallwood that is named. Oh, he, oh, he's doing that. He's doing the thing of. I'm going to mispronounce Kyle's name to show that I don't really care, despite the fact I'm making a 20 minute long video about it. Okay. After it's you, sir, the guy who made Fact Fiend himself, Kyle Smallwood. Okay. Uh, but Kyle Smallwood. <laughs> well, <in laughs> Kyle Smallwood ends. <laughs> <the world. laughs> Why am I laughing, you ask? Joe, literally five seconds after he establishes the gimmick of I'm going to mispronounce Carl's name to show I don't really care. He says Carl. Uh, Kyle Smallwood. Kyle. That is named after its user, the guy who made Fact Fiend himself, Kyle Smallwood. Kyle Smallwood. Uh, but Carl Smallwood. Kyle. Or at least uh, Carl Smallwood. <laughs> he can't even commit for a minute. It's just uh, Kyle Smallwood. And now he's back to Kyle. They're pacifistically stupid. Pacifistically stupid, okay. They're pacifistic, as in they're against complaint, criticism. That's not what pacifism means, what's your... That is based around indignation or uh, complaint. When I think I passive, think I think people who actively stand against things. Emotion. But uh, human emotion... Also, I know it's like a really minor complaint, but I, I can't help but looking at the guy's facial hair, because his moustache is really thick, but only around, is it the fulcrum? The filtrum, that this part of your nose here, believe it, because it's grown really thickly there and it looks like he's got reverse vampire fangs. To you, my audience, or any person watching the video. Hi. So, Kyle Smallwood. Back to Kyle. Against perfectly justified complaint, violence, indignation, and criticism. Wait, what, what was that? I'm, I'm against what? Or any person watching the video. So, Kyle Smallwood is against perfectly justified complaint, Violence, indignation. Perfectly justified violence. You, I, 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 I,
Two okay. Graphics, well, we, we can address that. I've never made fun of anyone for being SJW. I make fun of people who actually use that word, and I often refer to it as a litmus test for someone being a dickhead. And I say, if you hear someone use the word SJW, you can ignore everything else that comes out of their mouth. Anyway, on with this video. Both having a type of indignation, and Kyle Smallwood mocks both of them. No, ju like just the latter. Act as if everything doesn't matter, or nothing matters, therefore just uh, consume an abnormally large amount of alcohol, mainly gin or vodka or whiskey. Then okay, you've got me there. <laughs> you've got me there, mate. All your brain cells then come to the realisation that everything does matter. Everything, everything does everything matter. Does you matter. matter. You audience at home, you matter. I hope you're taking care of yourself. Wash your hands. Because that's what passivism does. It stops you from uh, the act of to grow up and care about things. No, fuck off. Growing up is, like, way underrated. Like, I am sat here. And you can't see it. It's a nice apartment paid for by being a childish dickhead online. And my immaturity is part of the reason I'm even, you're even watching this video. People who say, like, oh, man. I, and also, look, you're recording this in your toilet. <laughs> who the fuck is going to lecture me about maturity recording this on a toilet? Uh, for the second part, passivism. The first part, as I originally said, Carl Smallwood, uh, I should continue this line, uh, Carl Smallwood's uh, constant passivism and anti complaint. So I'm passive, but I'm also actively against make something. People simply laugh at everything, or mock everything, or meme everything, call everyone and everything. A I, <laughs> laugh at everything? <laughs> I'm a fucking comedian! Okay. And triggered and salty. Words that have no validity or actual meaning. In you sense. sound pretty salty and triggered right now, my so, friend. Just out of uh, a lack of caring, apathy, not stoicism, something that's beautiful and deep, very deep and powerful and gothic. Deep and powerful. Uh, he's got me there. There are definitely two words I've never been used to describe anything I've ever done, <laughs> including by all my ex-girlfriends. What, why am I roasting myself more than this guy is? No. Apathy. It's not even a calculative... It's not even a calculative computer empath uh, empathy or apathy. It's not even a computer apathy that cares about logic. I'm, I'm a comedian. I, 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 so I'm, I'm, I'm passive and I don't care about anything. But I don't care about anything, like, not in the cool way, like a computer is. <laughs> but I'm also, like, super against all these things and I'm very outspoken about it. What? Doesn't really care about anything. <coughs> Except well, I care about you. That cough doesn't sound great. Three meme words. Triggered, salty, and butthurt. Three words that I will debunk. <coughs> Yeah, nothing debunks the word salty and triggered like a guy sat in his fucking bathroom yelling at someone on the internet. <laughs> he proves his own fucking point. <laughs> also, like, what the fuck? What's going on with his shower? Like, I respect the fact that his shower curtain matches his anal beads, man. In That's the balling. Series, memes debunked. Oh, I'm watching that after this. So I've been, I've just uh, spent a few hours having to take a lot of things off this phone, so uh, I don't run out of... Oh, he's doing it old school! Storing. He's recording this on his phone in his toilet, he's a fucking OG! This was recorded in 2019, he's recording it off his fucking phone! What a baller! Storage is, therefore I'll just have to take everything off, put it onto... Uh, Laptop I have. Plus my oh man, I should have recorded this on my phone. Damn it! Modern technology and therefore it's infinitely stupid. Speaking of stupid, fact fiend. Oh, that was a flawless so segue. People like a Carl Smallwood, they're against any form of complaint or criticism. Squeeze me. It's against oneself. Basically, I'm literally watching a video where you do nothing but complain about me. But continue, sir. Bullshit, passivism and positivity against any valid point. Bullshit, passivism and positivity against... Bullshit, positivity. ...or complaint, or violence, or reason. Wait, what? I'm against what? I'm against what now? ...passivism and positivity against any valid point, or complaint, 
or violence or reason. I'm positive and I use that as a shield against violence and reason. We all know people who are violent and reasonable and they should be listened to. Just like people screaming uh, in toilets. Carl, uh, oh, he said Carl again. And the rest of Factoreen, or just Carl Smallwood himself, is also against any form of complaint, violence, reason, emotion, anything that's not constant mockery or overrating something that was mildly awesome or cool. I'm going to put it out there. Yeah, I'm against violence. Apparently it's a bad thing, according to this dude. It's not a good thing. Very few, like, there's very few avenues in which violence is an like, no, acceptable response. But apparently this guy thinks there is. What do we do on Fact Fiend? Okay, what do we do on Fact Fiend? I want to know. Wood, uh, a man who changed their last name to Smallwood. That's not true. This is my actual last name. I'm actually called Carl Smallwood. Well, it might have been changed back. And no, it's my in front name. Of camera, well, they, in front of a camera and behind them is a green screen. Yeah, if only I had to film this in front of my own fucking dirty laundry. Talking about whatever it is they're talking about in the video. And the video would be the title. Well, yeah, most so videos have a title. Arnold Schwarzenegger is too hardcore to be raped. Brackets. I don't recall ever making a video with that title. Speed. So it will be our main title... And a sub, a sub a title. We do use titles and subtitles, though. He's got that bit finished. right, at least. By the very end of the video. And the video would just be Carl Smallwood consuming lots of alcohol, being intoxicated, losing their intellect, if they had any intellect. Oh, he wanted that. He used the word intellect. Oh, come on. As if you weren't enough for a walking... You're literally recording this in your bathroom in an anime hoodie. You, you've got a literal neck beard. You've, like... You've not washed your hair or styled it. I can see shampoo in the background of the video. Oh. Instead of reason, violence. And you still, you do just like, oh, I only like internet, <laughs> intellect and logic. Uh, it's just so stupid. I know how you feel watching a video that you think is just so stupid. Fact fiend get a step beyond normal. Uh, stages all levels of mental retardation and stupid. I don't like that he's using that word. Like, like fun fact, I did used to use that word. I've apologised for it many times. Like, uh, but when he's right, I've cracked. And one day, my dad, who works with children with disabilities, read one of my articles. He's proud of his son. You're a writer. You've been published online. Read one of my articles that contained the word retard. And was so disappointed that you sent me an email, uh, not an email, a message saying, son, I've read one of your articles. I'm very disappointed you used this word. I've never used it since. And this guy is in the year of our Lord and Saviour, Mr. Jesus H. Christ, in 2019, dropping that word as a pejorative. Clearly a person who is reasonable and should be listened to. Let's continue. Kyle Smallwood and the rest of the YouTube channel Fact Fiend. Yeah are so stupid they disabled their comment sections oh. because they are subscribed to the bullshit <laughs> he's more, that, that's it he's one of that he's just pissed off he's sorry we turned off the comments he's, he's, this is it i can't i can't scream in the comment i'm gonna make a video oh my god oh my god it's actually happened i said for so long what the people would do is and no one did YouTube channel fact means they have disabled their comment section. We did, yes! Just so they could ignore people making perfectly justified and reasonable violent complaints. Wait, what? Whoa, 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 good sir, no. Making perfectly justified and reasonable violent complaints. Perfectly justifiable, reasonable, violent complaints. Perfectly justifiable, reasonable, violent complaints. Like we can pull up the curtain on that. The reason the comments would turn off is I was on the verge of a mental fucking breakdown and the other people working on the channel said, Carl, yeah, you're not looking too hot and you're really, really, like, angry without reason. Like, I am. I'm going to take a break. So I took a break for several months and I feel great now. Because I had to... It was my dad, actually. He sat me down and like, went, look, son, like, why do you care? You're going to make up... You're making the money and they're yelling at you. And I went, that's a really good way of putting it, Dad. I am making lots of money. Thank you. As people who make all these complaints in the YouTube comment section, they're all just big fat hairy trolls <laughs> in their basements. So I said, "Bull." He did 
innocent. It is no way. No. No, I refuse to believe. No. As people who make all these complaints in the YouTube comment section, they're all just big, fat, hairy trolls in their basements. So. Like, like self. I have. Like, there is a reason I don't make videos shitting on awkward, tall dudes who aren't, like, say. Like, I, I, I'm trying to, like, what I. What's, what's the best way to roast myself here? I don't make videos when I shit on awkward tall dudes with shit haircuts because I don't need to draw that kind of heat, man. Why would you use specifically the words fat, overweight, and hairy, man? Why would you use those? You are sat in your bathroom. You are screaming into your toilet bowl. In your toilet. And you've not shaved. And you're wearing a fucking hoodie with dry boys. It's an anime hoodie. You are, you are the, I, if I created a person, if I, I would be accused of creating a straw man if I took a screenshot of this. Infinitely stupid in that such people are subscribed to the belief that any person who is a part of the internet, any person who is on the internet. I'm on the internet. That hairy, pimply, disgusting 40 year old or 12 year old. Well, I'll be honest, yeah, like most of that description does apply to you. Perfectly but that's not why I'm discounting your opinions. Uh, <laughs> just, like, but I don't want to rag on the guy's personal appearance. Like, I was like, you can't help the way you fucking look. But he's got such an ugly fucking soul and personality that I don't even feel bad because even if this guy looked half decent and took care of himself, he'd still be fuck ugly because he's got a disgusting, awful, toxic personality. Listen to the words coming out of his mouth. Their complaints, their criticisms, they are somehow not valid. Even like, that's not the reason people are discounting your opinions, man. Maybe it's because you use, you drop words like you are mentally retarded. I'm Welsh. I'm What's that got to do with anything? You're Welsh. British house. A British house of Great Britain does not have a basement. Okay. So, is, is his literal argument because I'm, is his argument literally because I'm not literally sat in a basement? I am not the straw man version of a troll that you are imagining, despite conforming to literally every other fucking stereotype. I'm sorry for saying the word literally too much, I'm getting really hyped. And I've actually had like three of these today. There are no words. But most of the comments in the comment section were agreeing with such memes. Therefore, it's almost like it's the minority uh, all the comments and the, or the loudest the minority that can be the ones that get to you the most. They disabled the comment sections of their channel, so you can't get in touch with Carl Smallwood or Fact Fiends except on stupid bullshit websites like Twitter. Why do you need to contact me? I make videos on the internet. <laughs> Why do you feel the need that like, I have to be able to contact him to tell him his video sucks? It's like, just don't watch it then. Who gives a fuck what you think? You awful, awful man. And their channel, Fact Fiend, and their channel. So, like, I think this video had like 200 like views when I, I got sent the link. It's like the closest you are ever going to get to success. Like the closest taste of any sort of success you're going to get is the taste of my dick being shoved into your mouth as I make fun of you in this reaction video. Oh god, I, I, I missed that. What's that? Sorry. So, yeah. Carl Smallwood, you're fucking retarded. You deserve to kill yourself. Oh, what? Whoa! Whoa! Escalation! I'm being such a cunt-faced, pacifistic, idiotic, uneducated, invalid. Carl Smallwood, kill yourself. Fucking Just hell. For the love of God, you invalid. Wow. Oh, and then I get suggested all of my own videos. <laughs> oh, so that's obviously because I'm watching this on the fact feed official channel. I'm like subscribed to this guy to piss him off, but... Oh!
like, oh god, he's coming back. He's creeping, he's creeping back in. He's creeping back in my peripheral. I'm not a fan. Right? I, if I, I invented, like, if I like sat down and I wrote a skit about like the absolute just most stereotypical example of like, you know, straw manning every negative stereotype that exists about like the angry screaming commenter. Like, like, he's, like he's even got dirty fucking laundry in the background of the shot. Like, people would say I was like, you know, Carl, that's not fair. You are like, you're misrepresenting, you're misrepresenting the opinions of the people. Like you're making them look so stupid. And this guy, he's, he's, he's literally a neck beard screaming in his toilet into his phone in front of dirty laundry, and they are definitely anal beads. <laughs> Colour coordinating anal beads. That looks to me like pink is the hardest difficulty followed by yellow, but I what? Like <laughs> just break down his argument of oh man, why would the hell would he turn off comments? Also go kill yourself, and there's not an ounce of self-awareness. Like fucking hell man. You know.